Hey guys, I'm BG Mike. Welcome back to another episode of the Anime Life Simulator. I almost forgot the name. <laughs> if you guys have missed any episodes up until now, click that I above there and you can catch up. Uh, it's really a, a very, it's kind of an educational series, but it's also funny at the same time. It's kind of like watching anime. Let's continue on. Hi, Kari, no work today? Since she wasn't here during breakfast time, I assume she was at work today as usual. Oh, I hate... I hate when you sleep in too much and you have a headache. I wake up super early, like every day now. Just to get things done. That sounds great! Just as Kari requested, Aoi brings a light breakfast on a tray, there's mayonnaise. Oh god, not the mayonnaise. <laughs> on the tray as if that's just a normal part of the meal. Despite being half asleep, Karin adeptly opens the mayonnaise cap and pours plenty of mayo on the rice and vegetables. Can you still call this a light meal? Karin is spaced out as she chops the pickled vegetables and slurps up the tea rice. She usually seems so sharp, it's rare to see her like, like this. Such a lazy person, you. <laughs> She's so tired, she can't even talk. Yeah, there's a lot of places I want to go, but I especially want to go to Harajuku, Shinjuku, and Akihabara. I mean, she's an idol. Of course she's going to be going to Harajuku. Really? Alright, I'll go! I didn't expect Karin to invite me. Today I'm going to go to Har uh, Harajuku on a date with Karin. <laughs> By the way, in Japanese, they use the word date to describe a girl and boy hanging out. Even if it's not romantic, so this is really a date. Holy crap, I didn't know that. I had no idea, that's like a surprise to me. So this is Harajuku. Taking the train took about 50 minutes, including transfers we stand at Harajuku station. The train wasn't as crowded as the commuter rushed to school, but it was pretty crowded. At, uh, at Harajuku station, lots of other people around our age got off too. We have the same destination. I feel you guys. <laughs> oh, we should've came earlier, I see. What's the matter, Karin? We came all the way to Harajuku to go on a date. <laughs> we can't... There's no way she's not going to take it like that. So make the most of it and be happy and have fun. Oh, that's right. She's, like, famous and crap. I couldn't imagine, like, not, not being able to go out in public and people not notice you. That must be a crazy feeling. Oh, so those glasses are a disguise. I thought maybe you had bad eyesight or something. You're so pretty that you still stand out a lot, though. Oh my god, we're, we're just just stepping our game up, you know? Well, you know what? Kari's totally gonna fall for us with our compliments. <laughs> she silently hits me. What was that for? I was complimenting you! Can't do nothing right. Kari walks ahead of me with no hesitation in her steps. This is the walk of someone in a place they well they know well. Hey, wait! I run after Kari and I take the time to stop and look around. She'll leave me in the dust. What the heck? Those people look scary as crap back there! It's more its more of a realistic background. I like it. Outside of the station, you cross one of the streets to enter the shopping district. As you go down a, a slight hill, lots of boutiques and miscellaneous stores are crammed together. And just tons of people. People, and then some more people. Oh, hey, look, there's people. This is Takashita Dori. Harajuku along with Shibuya is the fashion mecca for young people in Japan. Japanese fashion has a sense of style that is unthinkable in the West and has gained attention all over the world. Have you seen some of those pictures of people in Harajuku? It's like crazy. It, it looks really awesome though. Like because people really, you know, you, you take risks in fashion and stuff like that and you dress in all kinds of things. Some things look cool. I mean, most things look cool, but there's some that look weird. I mean, if you think about it, years ago, if you like if someone from like 20 years looks at something that we have now, then it would look really weird, you know what I mean? Like people are like, oh my god, shaving half of your head looks so stupid. But these days, you know, it's just a thing. It's just things that people, one person does it and then and then other people are like, oh, that actually looks kind of cool. I'll do that. And there, there you go. It's a trend. In Western countries, when most girls become a teenagers, become, become a teenagers, they start yearning for a cool style. So cute style. Fashion like Lolita. Fashion is radically different. Everybody's wearing amazing outfits. The fashion of the people coming down on the street is so eccentric. Their outfits are so unique, there's no sense of unity. Pastel colors, flashy prints, my eyes, my eyes are just spazzing out. That's what I love about Japan is that 
so many colors. Everything just looks um, inviting and just really awesome. That's why I want to go and just live there already. That's so cool. People, people just like dress up and they don't care what people think. I like that. I see. Wow, that girl's wild. It's like a bunch of stuff is hanging off of her. As long as they're not wearing meat suits like Lady Gaga, I think uh, I think that that might be crossing the line right there. Can I tell you my honest opinion? There's so many fashionable people here, but you look at the best out of any of them. Oh my God, we need to stop it. <laughs> Uh, you, we're trying to hit on her. Like, we really are. It's just obvious at this point. So? Yeah, it's... It is true. When you say things too much, it does lose this meaning a little bit. You know, people... It's, it's not as meaningful. Cutting laughs and pokes my head. Stop that. I'm telling you guys, it's gonna happen really soon. I just feel it. Feel it coming on. The two of us go around to different stores. Oh, they have so many different little things. These stores are just fun to look around. I always end up hanging around a long time. <laughs> there we go. Karin, you're so serious about this. I feel the same way. I got all these little freaking like figures and crap and I don't know what to do with it. I have nowhere to put it. In fact, like recently I did a giveaway just to give away some of the stuff because I don't have no like anywhere to put it, you know what I mean? But man, I guess it's true what they say about Japanese girls calling everything in the word cute. Today, no matter what we we're looking at, you're always saying everything is cute. So much for losing, you know, its meaning. Connie st stops in her tracks, stand in front of me and glares. Huh, what? You're scaring me. <laughs> but she is! She is one of those airheads. <laughs> um... Oh my god, triggered. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I wasn't thinking, like I said too much. Man, I really did it this time, I don't really get why, but Karin's super pissed off. Well, I guess that means Karin isn't just spouting out cute for anything she sees then, huh? In other words, Karin seems interested in something, the store sign looks like a cafe. Honey Sugar Cinnamon Cake? Oh my god, such a flashy name. Sweet Lolita Cafe Boutique Honey Sugar Cinnamon Cake. <laughs> What's with this super sweet sounding name and it says cafe and boutique? Well, which one is it? Hey, Connie, the store. Sweet Lolita. Oh, so you can like buy clothes and stuff. That's cool. Cutting's eyes are positively sparkling. So, want to check it out? What? But Cutting, you love this cute stuff, don't you? <laughs> what? What was that supposed to be a secret? Come on, just think about it. Connie's eyes have always gotten sparkly when seeing something cute, so it's just normal to assume she's like that kind of stuff. If you like it, then what's the problem? Oh, so that's the issue. I guess Connie is tall with a slim build and a good figure. She looks more like the cool type than the cute type. Yeah, if you like it, that's all that matters, honestly. What, what other answer is there? Yeah, maybe you're right, but as long as you like it, that's what matters. Counting size deeply. Oh crap, we said the wrong thing. Sure, I know her. Of course I know her. Mitsuki, aka Kiraboshi Mitsuki, Japan's top artist who's active all around the world. They call her the Black Haired Princess. Her exotic style of leather fashion with a touch of Japanese taste has drawn fans in many countries. I have some of her songs on my phone. What? No way! The same Mitsuki? Hmm. 
Wait, hold on. I can't believe it. That Mitsuki, really? I gotta look up some videos later. Oh god, so she's like, she was like a town boy or something when they, when she was little. I see. It's like Anno Hannah. <laughs> it's, I don't know, it's just what I think of. Now, I can see how that suits you. It doesn't surprise me at all. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, please go on with your story. Mitsuki, right? Yeah. With what? I don't even have to ask now. I know Karin, uh, Karin fell in love with cuteness. Oh, Sasuke, we're learning how she became an idol. Karin looks entranced as she remembers the past. And then you decided to uh, be an idol, right? Stupid late all. Cutting size deeply. I see. I can. I. I get it. I. I get why cute stuff wouldn't wouldn't fit her anymore. I see. So that's how it went, huh? I see. I get it. I understand Cutting's situation fully. I hold Cutting's hand. Well then, let's go to the store. What the heck? We're holding her hand. But that's just to do with your work, right? You've got the day off, so it doesn't matter. Your hobbies are your own personal choice. <laughs> We're like pulling her. Oh god, she's she's digging those muscles. <laughs> You're gonna do it, alright, Karin? Now I always want to try like new styles of clothes, you know what I mean? Because like I wear, I feel like I wear the same thing like all the time. I, I wish I had more money to buy like clothes, like cool clothes, and just try out new things like that. I don't know. Okay, one new customer guidance is coming right up. Your boyfriend can order something while he waits. Okay. Okay, they dropped the boyfriend in there. The sales girl takes Karin into the boutique space. Okay, I'm not her boyfriend though. I'm just her family. Oh, we're not just family. The shop girl recommends various outfits to Karin. All of them are so pink and frilly. It's amazing. Hey, the workers getting excited. Now more of the staff are gathering around. They're starting to, uh, to argue about what's best. Well, I understand how they feel. Katarina's really beautiful. It makes sense that they want to dress her up. Oh my god. Oh, she's dressed up, guys. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> that is, like, too cute. She's got candy on her dress. I mean, it's, it's just a little overwhelming. You know what I mean? Oh, I spaced out for a few seconds. Huh? What's this? Cute! So cute! Karin, you look so super duper crazy cute! Man, what's going on? Are you an angel? Karin blushes right, uh, bright red in the silent. Man, doing that makes it even cuter. Wait, hey, what should I do? Hold on, what do you mean a new customer? This is the work of a pro. There's some whispering in the store. The workers and customers are noticing Karin well, of course. That's because Karin is the cutest out of anyone here. Um, would you like to work here? The part-time is the uh, pay is pretty good. Wow, you look that good. Someone's offering you a job. <laughs> if only it was that easy to get a job. Oh, I see. Too bad. But I guess it makes sense. You're so cute. Of course you must be in high demand. <laughs> Um, could it be your yayo uh, Yayoi Karin-chan? Oh crap, she's she's noticed. See, I told you. Karin-chan's the real deal? I'm your fan. I'm always going to see your concerts. I love how you're so cool. Hey, no fair. I was a fan before you. Um, I love you too, Karin-chan. <laughs> oh, we got some fangirls over here. Karin's totally embarrassed. I guess she's suddenly surrounded by fans while wearing clothes she wouldn't usually wear. Today you're wearing sweet Lolita clothes. Unlike usual, this is your secret hobby or something like that? Well, kinda. <laughs> the paparazzi are gonna show up now. My outfit matches with Kami-chan. Your usual cool style is great, but your cute style is so cute I might die. Please don't die. Um, can I have your autograph? Oh, me too. Please give me your autograph too. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh god, it's turning into a disaster. Oh, is it over? <laughs> I bought it. Mom's gonna be mad. I bought clothes I'll never wear again. Where's her mom at? Where's her parents? Where's any of their parents? Karin drops her head in disappointment with a big bag dangling from her hands. Don't you hate that when you go somewhere and like you, you know, people like, people like kind of make you try on things or they like try to persuade you to try on things and you're like, crap, I got this far now I have to buy it or I wasted all their time. I hate that. I really do. In the end, Karin bought the entire outfit she tried on. It seems like the price was pretty high so she timidly pulled out a credit card. Oh yeah, you gotta have those credit cards handy. That was probably money she wasn't supposed to use so easily. You won't wear it again? What a waste. That's like boring. Why would you just want to wear it in your room? Man, no fair keeping it all to yourself. Show me too. I like how we were just sliding on in there. Connie sticks out her tongue at me. When I see Karin smile, my heart skips a beat. Man, the smile is just too much. Today when she was surrounded by all the sweet Lolita fans, she had such a natural smile. It was the cutest smile I'd ever seen Karin have. Karin said cute things don't suit her. I guess I could see how that would be a common opinion, but I don't really agree with it. I think for Karin, cute style probably works for her too. I keep thinking about what I observed Karin in such a good mood on the way home. Oh, we're totally, we're totally gonna end up with her. I just know it. Okay, I'm gonna end it here, guys. Do you agree with my decision for cutting? I don't know why, but just drawn to her. I mean, we did accidentally grow up her in the beginning. That has nothing to do with it, I swear. Would you guys rather have seen me uh, pick another girl? Leave it in the comment section down below. I'd like to know. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'm BG Mike. Subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you scrubs in the next video. Bye, guys. Become, become a teenager. <laughs>